Konami. I don't know why you guys aren't on screen. <laughs> What's your problem? Why won't you show up? Up here. Please. Work, damn you! <laughs> I don't know why this keeps happening lately. It sucks. Why are you like this? Up here! Up here! Up here! Well, I guess you it just sucks to suck. I guess it just sucks to suck. <laughs> I guess it just sucks to suck. Too much RAM? No. You guys wouldn't even show up even before I turn my model and everything on. You're just fucking gone. What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Hmm? Why would you do that? What's your problem? Can't believe you would do this. No, you're not hiding behind anything. You just... You just won't appear. You just won't appear. I don't know why. <laughs> annoying. So annoying. Fucking YouTube. I'm going to blame YouTube. Like it could very well be OBS, but I'm gonna blame YouTube. It makes me happier. <laughs> makes me happier to blame YouTube for this one. Not our fault. Um, you can share the blame with YouTube. Susan's not even with YouTube anymore. It's Neil now. It's Neil now. Yeah, it's Neil's fault. Can you believe Neil would do this? My eyebrows are going crazy again. <laughs> My eyebrows. My mouth was also going crazy earlier. Like, it kept just being like, boop, boop, boop. Even when it was closed, I was like, stop. Stop it. There we go. For lunch, I had some carbonara samyang noodles. Our model's taking over? Ah, good. Good. Take over. Stream for me, bitch. <laughs> Do my job for me, then. Why won't you work? Oh, not you guys, my model. Let the model take over. Oh my gracious. You would think I'd never sleep.
had to actually grab the harp. How bad is she? Bad. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> That's why we're tuning her. If you can't tell, I haven't touched it since I moved. It's bad. So I think I originally had it in C major, but I think I'm gonna do it in E flat this time. All right, let's tune. Yikes. Okay, not too bad. It's tuning time! So, to put it in E-flat, for those of you who don't know uh, music, <laughs> that basically means that um, all of the E's, A's, and B's are going to be tuned to the flat version instead of natural. And that'll put it into E-flat. C is fine. That's super flat. Okay. C. Better. Isn't being flat bad? No. It depends. Like when you're singing? It depends. <laughs> being flat, if the note is a flat note, is good. Like if you need to sing an E flat and you sing it as an E flat, then you've done it. Congrats. I shouldn't gesture with my, my tuning key in my hand. <laughs> Flings it onto the floor. I'm using my phone. I have an app for it on my phone. I can't tune by ear. I'm not good like that. And then when I lift that, it should go. No, wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, yeah, I definitely had this tuned in C. So part of why you might want to tune your harp in E flat is uh, because as a lever harp, you just have these levers that whenever you lift it, will lift that note by a half step. So whenever you have it tuned in E flat, 
you're able to play a wider variety of music uh, because there's no way to make a note flat on the harp unless you tune it like the string itself to be flat. So if you have uh, music that has like flats and accidentals, which typically are going to be the E, B, or A, which is why you would tune it into E flat, you would just automatically have that B in flat. And then if you need it to be in natural, then you just lift your sharping lever. And then now your E flat is an E natural. That's why. That's what's going on here. You kind of can, but remembering the translation sounds awful. The issue is that if you're playing and it's an E flat key signature, you're going to have things like D naturals. And because of the way that harp works, where you bracket your notes that you're playing, so you'd be like, and you place all of those fingers that play those three notes at the same time. And then you would also have your left hand moving. So you would have to have, like, if you're going back and forth between a D natural and, <laughs> and an E flat, you would be sitting there lifting the lever up and down. And you can't do that. So it doesn't work on harp. That's why you tune it to E flat. Absolutely fascinating the way this keeps jumping and being like, it's a D, and then it's like, just kidding, it's a G, huh? It must be the overtones. All right, so we're back at A. that. Alright. Feels like I'm back in music class. Congrats. Who the heck owns a harp in 2023? Why do you say that as if harps are like ancient? <laughs> <laughs> like as if, as if they're ancient and then they stayed ancient and now nobody has a harp. Harps are still like very much a modern instrument. Like, obviously, they, they do date back quite far. But so do guitars. Uh, B-flat. to get um Oh, dusty strings. Those are nice. Uh I need to get o-rings to mark my sharpening levers or something because it's so difficult sometimes to be like looking at all of these strings and being like which is this sharpening lever too? <laughs>
Konami, welcome. So that was a C. So now we're back at D. Just imagine how long this would take if I had a harp with more strings. Because I've only got 26? 26? Electric harp, it has keys like a piano? Uh, no, there's actual electric har harps. I have 26. There are actual electric harps. In fact, you can get an electric uh, pickup for this harp and install it. And then there's like electric harps that work with like laser beams instead. Uh, 26 is still technically considered a small harp, yeah. Cause I only have range uh, to the C below middle C, which isn't like that far. Sometimes it can be so difficult. Okay. Harping on harps. Ah oh, ha ha. Ah oh, ha. Ah oh, ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Wrong lever. Interesting. This one's not quite calibrated correctly. In order to get it perfectly A natural whenever I lift it, I have to be slightly flatter than it should be. Which, uh, I need to learn how to do that. But that's life. It's fine. Professional. <laughs> that was a terrible buzz. What are you buzzing against, you freak? I 
don't see anything for it to be buzzing up against. I don't get it. It's my plucking technique. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. My left hand, it's fine. My right, it's fucking up. Now it's fine. What am I doing? Oh, B flat. <laughs> Stam, you're perfect already. All right, that was easy. Yeah, I was... I must have been hitting another string on the way back. I don't know. Super flat. Is that seriously like perfectly E flat? <laughs> Great, cool. I don't have to tune that one. It's just gotten so flat for me not paying attention to my harp that it's perfectly E flat. <laughs> ha 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 ha. So flat that it's B flat. I don't want to talk about it. Favorite harp player? Mm, no. <laughs> no. I don't I don't know like harp players. It's just like I wouldn't be able to tell you anyone who plays a flute. Here it's painful for the finger to play harp. I mean it's just the same as like guitar. You gotta you're plucking strings. Especially like uh like more like Spanish guitar.
the higher these strings are, the more difficult it is to not, like, overtune them. Built up calluses yet? No. I haven't touched my harp in months. <laughs> D yeah. like these shorter, higher strings. You bump it slightly, and it's like now I'm a whole half step off, and it's like, God damn it! It's really difficult to like get them get them in. Perfect pitch? Nope. I am no musical savant or prodigy. I'm just a guy. Much better. Now that's better. Beautiful. <laughs> so much better. What's your history with the harp? Uh, I got it last year. Yep. I just have wanted one for years. But I... I just got it last year. And then I haven't been practicing. Turn down the BGM? I guess. No, I can't really play much right now because I haven't been practicing. I'm having to, like, teach myself, essentially. And one thing with the harp is that it's, you know, it's a two-handed instrument, like piano. And I struggle with that sort of thing. Like, when I've tried to learn piano, I really struggle with, like, separating my hands and making them do two different things, but at the same time. So it's like an, it's an uphill battle for me. No, I did not play piano. I tried to learn how to play piano. But I, I, you know, I play flute. One-handed instruments? I think there's a difference between... Like, if you, if, you, if you get what I'm saying. Like, if someone plays a trumpet, you would consider that one-handed versus a piano is two-handed. Even though playing the flute, you use both hands... Both hands are working towards the same goal. So, like, even though my left hand's doing something else, while my right hand's doing something else, they're working into the same, like, goal. Note. Exactly. But, like, harp and piano, it's like... While your other hand is doing something... Even then, like guitar, like while you're sitting there doing chords with the other hand and the other hand, like one hand and the other hand is strumming, it's one goal in the end. It's play a C chord, play a D chord. It's not play C, D, F on one hand and E, B, G on the other.
Much love, Nami. One month chilling with you. Thank you, Shadow Wolf, for leveling up. Thank you, thank you. Drummers? Oh my god, dude. Drumming is also really difficult, for sure. Rhythm games should help with having your hands do different things? No. <laughs> they don't. They, they don't. I only remember I have these when someone else sends it first. It becomes the domino effect. Thank for loving up, Carl. Thank you. Thank you. If you play instruments, you know, piano is so much different from any woodwind I've ever played. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Trying patterns are important, though, but it's still like... If you have the pattern in your brain, you kind of set it and forget it. I mean, here's the thing, right? You know, harp, if you know just, like, the absolute basics here of, like, music theory, you can, um... You can kind of just, like, improv on it. And it sounds beautiful because of the fact that it is one key, right? If you have it all in C, it's gonna sound great because it's all in C. And just like if you have it all in B flat. Or E flat, excuse me. B flat would be without the A's. It sounds great. Different, but it still sounds great. You know? Open tooting, my beloved. Yeah, it just—it just sounds lovely. You just want to sit there and do glissandos all day. You're just like, ah. Ah, beautiful. But you have to actually learn how to how to play something. Me at me. <laughs> Special gloves? No, no. You would. Pretty much never play harp with gloves unless it's required. Like, as a uniform sort of thing for whatever you're playing with. What's also fun is I, uh, I lost... <sighs> I lost, uh... All of my sheet music I had gathered. So that's fun. In the great hard drive death. <laughs> it does suck. It really super sucks. Pain. Like even just being like da 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 an F There you go. <laughs> My watch it keeps buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a uh, harp therapy is a common thing.
Sorry, let me tell this to stop buzzing my watch or I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go insane! <laughs> Let's see, there's a, a, Not me losing it over watch notice, but with elegant strings. The way I've just sat myself in the worst possible posture to play the harp. <laughs> if I had a teacher, they would be losing it right now. I just pulled one foot up into the chair. I think I need to raise my harp some as well on its stand because my chair, I raised it when I moved. Also in the thumbnail, the harp is on the wrong shoulder. But you guys wouldn't know that. <laughs> you, you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know. Now I do. What is that? Uh, I feel like I also haven't read any music in a while. So I'm, I'm looking at like this and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Is that what that is? A B D G B A Oh <laughs> My struggle as well is I never had to learn how to read bass clef notes as a, a flutist? Is the concert in person only? No, no, no. The streaming tickets went up on sale the other day. Uh, if you go to the Kawaii, like the actual uh, corporate Twitter, there's links there. Actually, you know what I was looking at last night? Circus stuff. <laughs> I was looking at circus stuff last night. I 
adding a ring? No, no. Like an actual place to go and get lessons. For like aerial hoop and silks and stuff. But mostly aerial hoop. I really want to learn how to do hoop. Also known as the Lyra? Lyra? There's a place like 30-ish minutes away from me. I could go learn. I could go be a circus freak, for real. <laughs> I could go be a circus. They real fun? Yeah, they're actually... It's actually not as expensive as I was thinking it was gonna be. Because they do, like, sessions. And... As long as the the price that I was seeing on their website for, like, signing up for the session is the, se the price for the full session, it's not bad. It's like 250-ish. It's not bad. Because it's like eight weeks. With one class a week. Not bad at all? No. It's also one of the few places that you can actually, like... Expect that most of the people that are getting lessons there are actually adults. <laughs> I feel like if you're an adult who, like, wants to take lessons in something... Now that you have the money to do it as an adult because you couldn't afford it... Like, when you were a child or your family couldn't afford it, right? Like, you can't just walk up into most, like, dance schools and be like, I want to start taking ballet as an adult. Because most of them are like, that's too fucking bad, bud. <laughs> You're ancient. <laughs> You're like, but I want to learn ballet. Like, gymnastics too stuff like that it's like you either get in as a child and then you get to be in like adult classes because you've grown up in them or it's like you're fucked but like circus arts i feel like is more an adult thing ah But yeah, they have like hoop and silks and uh, you can learn like acrobatics and contortion. You can learn how to be a contortionist. That's just a skill that you develop. It is not like, well, you're a grossly flexible freak from birth. Like, no, you can take contortionist classes. You can. Are you aware? <laughs> you can just go and learn how to be a contortionist. To clowning? I don't think the circus arts places teach clowning. They have like juggling classes, which I guess is clown enough. But, like, most of it's, like, aerial stuff. Aerial as in in the air, not the Little Mermaid. <laughs> not the Little Mermaid. Fall and poof, done. Oh, yeah. They teach you over uh, a pit of sharks. That's where you take your aerial hoop classes. Is It's above a pit of sharks. So if you fall, you die. That's how they, they get you to really care. <laughs> I 
Even professionals have nets and pads under them. If you've ever watched a Cirque du Soleil, they usually have like a... Uh, some sort of net or pad or like hidden like trampoline sort of thing going on. Like it's usually there's something there. It might not be like super thick because they're professionals, but there's usually something of some sort. Why learn anything when that just sounds nice? <laughs> As is. I don't want to learn. It's too much effort. No, I have! Um... The basics? I don't. This is all glissandos. <laughs> That's not knowing the basics. That's running your fingers up the strings. A skill? It's a skill to play it like smoothly and at the same volume all the way through. You can like really dig your finger in it and be like Or you can very lightly You know how the mermaids charm the unaware pirates. <laughs> Good amount of learning material online for harps quantity and quality wise. Um, there's like uh, a lady called Christy Lynn. She has a website called Learning the Harp where she has like courses that you can buy. And like sheet music and such for it. Pretty nice. What reference? What reference? Not everything is a reference! Eh. <clears throat>
There's actually like harp techniques where you like hit certain strings with your fingers and then like play it low by the the soundboard versus high up cuz you're supposed to play them in the middle naturally A queen thank you so much for that thank you thank you is a c Nope, that's bum 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 ba dum bum 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 I've forgotten it. <laughs> Green sleeves, yeah, green sleeves. If I read the sheet music, that would help. <laughs> Which, like, this is what learning something on the harp is like. You play, you go... Two, one, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, and then that's section A. That's section A. So you would go back and go and clean it up and go do, 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 and you just keep doing that. Over and over, and you gotta work in as well the, uh... What fucking note is that? <laughs> Me when I don't know the bass clef? That's my greatest weakness. I don't know the bass clef. I know that it swaps. Uh, some stuff, but ugh. Ugh. Green buses drive fast always for bass clef line notes. Okay. Trying out your ramen with a slice of American cheese is the yellowest thing ever? What's your base ramen? <laughs> what is the base ramen? <clears throat> bass clef sucks <laughs> Hot take? I think the bass clef Sucks <laughs> Shin black? Oh Blah, 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 blah. So it's A. A is my best bass clef note. So you go. What the shit is that? And that's how you practice harp and learn things on harp. You say, all right, we've got A and we've got... And you just keep doing that section until it's perfect. Until your or until your fingers say, ow, stop. Ow, ouchie. Ow, stop. Ow.
You keep repeating. <laughs> That's why when you guys have been like, practice it on stream. I'm like, it's not that interesting. Because a lot of the practice is learning how to bracket and place your fingers all at once. So like this, you're supposed to place those three fingers at the same time onto the string. Not like one, two, three. No, you have to go boop, slide them right in. So you also have to practice just placing. And getting used to the spacing of the strings. You mentioned thanking your family for not kicking you out when you were practicing harp last time. That's what I'm saying, man. Because <laughs> it's literally me for like an hour just going, okay, okay, all right. And then again. And then you just keep doing that over <laughs> and over and over and over and over. Like that's all you do. I'd be here for it. I mean, you're getting the experience like right now. God, I feel like I need to put like a sheet of paper or something on the back side of my harp. Not like directly on the back side, obviously, but like near the back sides because I sometimes like the strings, you're looking at it and you're seeing things through them and you're like, your eyes are starting to cross and things are swimming. You're like, um, um, um. <laughs> Not even a cheat sheet, just something to block out the background so that I can look at the strings better. Cause sometimes I'm like, let me close one eye Get a, get a good look at this. Yup, okay. Cause you have to think, like you have 26 strings and the harp is right up against like your, your right shoulder. So it's right here. And so it's things like, ooh. That's so many strings to look at. And then you go right back to it and you go, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> and you say all right again. And you say okay again. I feel like I'm losing my mind and also making you guys lose your mind. People actually practicing music in your house can be annoying indeed. Yeah, I'm thinking about that too. The ringleader's home today and I'm like, God, I hope. Uh... <laughs> God, I hope I'm not being annoying. Because another thing, too, of harp is, like, you kind of want to start to memorize your sheet music and, like, look ahead and memorize what you have to play so you're not, like, doing... 
this like constantly. <laughs> You know? Seeing people play those huge harps without even looking at the strings can only imagine how much practice that took. Oh, yeah. Like, you start to get used to the spacing of your strings, and you have to, and like, people will make like these massive leaps where they're having to be like, whoa, like leaning forward. Like, I can't imagine playing a pedal harp. Pedal harps are so big. I keep expecting the follow up. Oh, contraire, mon frere. <laughs> It doesn't come. Not until you do your one part enough. See, so that's another bad thing, right? Just to be like, oh, I got this note. <laughs> Three, two, one, so A, B, C. So that would be the next section. So B section is the So then you go back and work the B section. And also incorporate the, the left hand. What the hell is this? So that's... That's A. That's B. That's C. Okay. <laughs> Nope. I remember the name of that track. It sounds pretty. People have said it. I said it. violin at least with violin you can like kind of practice mute but like not super practice mute like i know even with a practice mute it still will make sound but i would love to learn violin Cuts off your glissando. <laughs> nope. So you start to memorize the pieces and you put them together.
So then at some point... What, am I eating a whole cake again? Never. <laughs> Violin feels like it's bad unless the person is really good. No in-between. Uh, same thing with clarinet. Like, even if someone's a really good clarinet player, I'm usually like... Ugh. I don't really like the tone of a clarinet. What triggers you to want to learn an instrument, a song you want to play, or just the instrument mechanics? Um, I just like the sound of it. And there's something in my brain that makes me be like, I want to learn them all. I would love to be a one-man orchestra. But I think the next most practical to learn would be, like, piano, because you can just get a little shitty keyboard. <laughs> and there's tons of things that'll teach you how to play piano, like, even with just, like, a MIDI. You can play along. Like, these days, you don't even need to learn how to read sheet music in order to play piano. You just pop on a MIDI and play it by following what, what buttons, what keys it's pressing. Guitar too? I mean, yeah, you don't need to learn how to read sheet music for guitar. I know how to play, like, chords on a guitar. I never learned how to do, like, proper tablature on a guitar. But I do know how to play a guitar. And ukulele. Ukulele. Because I feel like you're not a VTuber if you don't know how to play a ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, I knew how to play it before VTubing. A king cover? You'll never catch me alive. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive. King coppers. <laughs> You'll never get me. Now the song that's in my head lately is Naraku. Which one is that? Naraku. <laughs> It's by Mikito P, who also did Esper. You cannot make me cover King. You can't do it. You can't do it. And then I never get this one rhythm right. I'm like, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Left side, right side. Ha ba bo bo ba bi ba 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 bi ba bi ba bi ba. Any work songs during a karaoke? I would have to spend a long time learning it and practicing it. And 
then I still have the JP song that I'm actually doing a cover of. Actually, I have two JP songs that I'm doing a cover of. But the other one's not, like, difficult because it's a ballad. But there's one that I'm gonna... I have this, the art for it. I just need to actually record. Me and the, the million dollar I just need to record. Hey, you guys have never heard that from me, right? I just need to record it. <laughs> I just need to record it. <laughs> So simple, just record it. Sounds fairly new. Yeah, I know, right? I've never said that. I've never I've never <laughs> I've never said I just need to record something. Ever in my life. I do really want to do a Paper Boats cover at some point. I feel like it would be against the law for me not to. We are paper boats drifting through the wind. It would seem we'll never be apart. How for you I guess written in the stars You come you can't die I... The blood from Hades? No or in the blood, excuse me. No, I've never sang that. I will always, always find you. I will always, always find you. Like it's written in the stars I had a thought, right? The other day- Ow! <laughs> I had a thought the other day Let me just get stabbed by the end of one of my strings, bitch Ow Um Because my brain is filled with Themis My brain is all Themis Themis? In my brain, Themis? Themis in my brain Um Patch mean themis in my brain. And I have a thought because, you know, people love to ship their walls with ancients. So many people don't know paper boats. The fact that paper boats is like literally perfect for every single wall ancient ship and people don't know it. They're missing out. <laughs> These people don't know what they're missing out on. Literally perfect. Especially for the people that it's like they ship it as like the Azum. Azum Hades. And now they find each other again. And, and this time. And it's like you guys just don't know. You just don't know what you're missing out with paper boats. <laughs> you need to know about paper boats. It's perfect for this. They just don't know. They just don't know. It's up to you to make the music videos with dramatic cutscene editing to show them the way? Absolutely not. <laughs> 
Skyrim will not. <laughs> I never had my AMV era. Actually, you know what? I used to watch sometimes uh, weird Disney AMVs just for the f the funny, the hee hee ha ha. There's some crazy ones out there, like like Jane from Tarzan with uh, what's her name, Captain Amelia? Is that her? Yeah, yeah, her! From Treasure Planet. There is Jane and Captain Amelia. AMVs. I shit you not. They're real. <laughs> I shit... <laughs> Jane, Captain Amelia. Have you seen You'll Be My Spouse with Prince Eric from Little Mermaid? What? No. <gasps> this is the one that I saw that I was like, what the fuck is this? What is this? It's like weirdly well edited. <laughs> like they mask them out and 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 everything. Like it's really weirdly well edited. This person puts so much effort into this. <laughs> For this ship, I've never in my life would have thought anyone would have thought of. Why does this have 951,000 views? <laughs> the editing is so good, isn't it? Like, even here with Jane, like, in the bed and the, the blanket on top of her, they made the blanket, like, move. about this video is baffling. Why is Drax in this? <laughs> Why is he? Why is he tormenting Jane? <laughs> She's a ghost. I 
I feel literally insane watching this again. What is this one with Ariel? Ariel with with someone from El Dorado? Wait, guys, hold on. They have a story. There's a story in the description. Neither of the main two guys. Simple description of the story of the one that you guys just watched. Jane wants to skip town. Shows of impressive drawing map skills. Amelia lets her come with her. Jane suffers from nasty nightmares of her ex. Amelia tries to shear Jane up. Random stuff happens. They fall in love. Evil ex Thrax finds them. Hates Jane's ex? Oh my god. They try to hide slash escape. Fail miserably. Shit goes down. Everybody dies. But heaven is a beautiful place. I do have a much deeper thought process for the whole story, but I'm too tired to write it all down. If you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. X3. Wow. Wow. What? Uh, what Zekul? Zekul? Khan? Zekulkan? I don't know how to say this man's name for the aerial one. Should ask a question? I don't think I will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, I don't think I will. Here, you want to watch this one with me? I've never seen this. I've never seen this one. This one looks lower quality. Oh, because it's only 360p. Oh my god. Nameless doll, I'm fascinated by you. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm already watching. <laughs> I jumped right in. I gotta see what's going on here. Is this guy evil? I do have a harp. No, I've not seen El Dorado. Why are we shipping Ariel with evil bad guy? Is this just what we're doing now? <laughs> I see one of of Cinderella's evil stepsister with a treasure planet guy by the same person. I only want to watch Nameless Dolls stuff because obviously they put in the effort. They go crazy. <laughs> You are my spouse now, Prince Eric and Dimitri from Anastasia. It's really dark, but the absurdity of it always makes the people I show it to laugh. Well, I gotta watch that. <gasps> Kiss! <laughs> I'm 
glad we can all be 12 again, guys. <laughs> As a family. <laughs> Let's all be 12 years old again. <laughs> I wonder what inspired them to make this crack shit video. I am... So fascinated. I hope Nameless Doll has a career in video editing at this point. Has no right to be as well edited as it is. That's what I'm saying, man. Nameless Doll went off. <laughs> I hope Nameless Doll is thriving. Nameless Doll, you're insane! My first non-Disney crossover video ever. No, the other one was just a Disney crossover. It doesn't say only the first crossover, it just says non-Disney crossover. The story. Ariel is a mermaid with the ability to grant one wish every 12 days when someone touches her fin, even against her will. I didn't get that. Uh, she is therefore very wanted by all men, but she gets to live in peace in El Dorado as long as she lets the chief wish for anything that his people might desire. Food, riches, health, etc. One day, the man whose name I can't pronounce asks if he could make a wish instead of the chief. Ariel is not sure what to say, but before anything happens, the chief stops them. Later, when Ariel talks to the chief, she is confused by why this man couldn't make the wish. He explains to her that this man is a bad man. <laughs> I lost where I was. Oh, but Ariel won't believe that. How can there be somebody evil in the perfect city that she created? When Ariel is alone, she remembers the first time she met this man. Uh... She really can't understand how he could be a bad. She now wants to prove it by learning to know him better. The days pass, and this man and Ariel bond. When the next wish day comes, Ariel lets him make the wish to show that she trusts him. But to her horror, he wishes for godlike powers. Blinded by power, the man starts to destroy the city, and Ariel tries to stop him. But doesn't stand a chance against his strength. The sight of Ariel dead on the ground awakens the man from his madness. Too late, he realizes what he had gained. And now lost. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Alright, next one. <laughs> Next one. Is this also only in 360p? Oh no, this one can go all the way up to 1080, baby. Let's go. Anastasia got a redemption arc in Cinderella 2, for those who don't know. These backgrounds aren't as nice, because they're clearly not from either movie. Actually insane. All right. Can you guys? Can you pick us up some eggs while you go insane? <laughs> the bim bits. <gasps> Esmeralda. 
Well done, no! <sighs> Ramen was alright, hey! 15% chance to turn into a deep dive on something I've never heard about? That sounds pretty low. I should make that higher. Swedish film student that was looking for a job in a film studio. Guessing she finally got in. I would hope so. She went off. She ate every one of these. <laughs> Look, sorry, Anastasia. I would go with the bimbets. For those who don't know, the Bimbets are the blonde triplets from Beauty and the Beast that love uh, Gaston. <clears throat> Who's that girl in white? She's from uh, God. What is that? What is that movie? It's probably in the description. We'll read it after we watch the video. You gotta watch it first. One year later. Oh my god, she ran off for a year and my man is still mourning that? He thinks Jessica Rabbit is Anastasia? <gasps> no! Anastasia! Anastasia! She got... She got augmentation. Anastasia became Jessica Rabbit, I think. She didn't say that he wasn't interested in any of those girls. <laughs> Wait, is that her or is it Jessica Rabbit? Am I interpreting this wrong? Oh my god, it is her! She got plastic surgery! You can't unplastic surgery yourself from being Jessica Rabbit! <laughs> the hell All right, all right. We got to read. Oh, Hollywood. That's the lady, the blonde lady. Fast story time. After accidentally bumping into Jim, he and Anastasia become friends. But of course, Anna I guess we're calling her Anna. We're, we're close enough to give her a nickname. Anna <laughs> develops stronger feelings, but Jim doesn't seem too interested. Sparkly daydreaming about the future. And then Anna starts to notice all these hot girls hanging around Jim and comes to the conclusion that she, she sh should try to fix herself up a little. You know, new dress, makeup and shit. But then she sees him kiss another of those skanky hoes. <gasps> Nameless doll language. <laughs> and she goes into mega depression mode. When back at home, she is all like, bitch. I can be sexy too. Flash back to time spent together. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
One year passes by. Jim has been worried sick about Anna. A redhead in the window? Shit! It's her! And no. It's just some other redhead. Fuck off, toots. Not interested. I got somebody else. Or, excuse me. It says like F uh, dash dash K. So fuck off, toots. Not interested. I got somebody else, he says. Bitch, slap! And oh shit, girl. If only would have if you only would have known. More flashbacks. Backs. <laughs> Can't speak. <laughs> More flashbacks. To clarify, he truly loved Anastasia, but was too shy to confess. Confession, support, and one more year later, and Anna is back to her old self. Went under the knife again. Ouch! <laughs> I... That's the story. Ouch. <laughs> I feel genuinely insane. So what do you guys think? Um, what, do, what do we think about watching Young and Beautiful, which has Ariel and Peter Pan? <laughs> Didn't understand any of that. Um, you know, I'm curious. I could ship it. Um, is that Belle with her hand on the Prince of the Forest from Bambi? I'm gonna put that one up in a different tab and we'll look at Peter Pan and Ariel. <laughs> Watch the aerial one first. <laughs> I can't deal with this. <laughs> Ariel and Peter Pan, young and beautiful. When you woke up this morning, would you have put money down on spending your day watching these? No. Am I surprised though? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am a me. Yeah, this person really likes Jim Hawkins. Although, in the description of the last one, she was like, I hate masking Jim's hair! Like, alright, then why do you make so much with him? <laughs> Wait, did she just recolor Melody as Ariel? That's actually kind of clever. I think it's less the song being applied to Peter and being applied to Ariel because she's growing up and he isn't and she's like, will you still love me even though I'm aging? I think that's what's going on. I'm learning to parse the stories that are happening in these. Should I be concerned? <laughs> 
should I be concerned? <laughs> This one's pretty straightforward. It is. Wow. Is this meant to be the Mermaid Cove in Neverland? Oh my god, no! She's fucking dying! <laughs> no, he's looking for her! She died! Of course I will. Oh my god! she kept aging if she was was she brought to neverland did i read that wrong oh this is an extremely short story as a child ariel had romantic feelings for peter which later turned to just platonic while peter's feelings were always 100 platonic their relationship was never anything more than that what the That's fucked up. <laughs> well, then why would you make it? Wait, wait, wait. I don't think this is by Nameless Doll, but there is a Titanic Aladdin X Ariel featuring Gaston. We can't watch it because it's not the Nameless Doll. But I. Hello? <laughs> Simba and Pocahontas? Oh my god, did it? No. No, it did not. <laughs> I'm gonna consider myself very grateful for that. <laughs> Here's the one with Belle and the Prince of the Forest. It's gonna take so long to scroll for my recommended. Oh, I'm watching this like on my my Nami channel and everything. Oh my god, the next time management logs in to look at my analytics and stuff, if they look at my homepage, it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> Welp, well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Why did this start with Mulan? I feel baited right now. <gasps> Gaston? The last unicorn? Wait, is it gonna be Gaston and Alma Th Oh my god! Who could have seen this coming? Okay, Meg. And Aladdin? Alright, okay. Okay. That one doesn't seem as literally insane. 
for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, oh, uh-huh, uh mm-hmm, uh mm -hmm, uh -huh. I see. I am bothered by the human woman and the deer. <laughs> I'm a little bothered by that one. He's so handsome. <laughs> you shut up. Oh, Spirit. I didn't expect to see Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron in this. Is this Coco Womb? And... Does he have a name? Oh, Brother Bear time. I love Brother Bear. I think it's underrated. Oh, and Pocahontas. Debt? <laughs> Swan Princess! Oh, dead. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> Was there like a story for any of this? Oh, oh, editor's notes. Part one, this almost ended up as a triangle drama. Part two, do you know how hard it was to make Gaston appear as a nice guy? P.S. Amathea is supposed to be blind here. Oh. Part 3, I think I'm the first one to use only Prince Ali throughout the whole video, and yes, it was all in her head. Meg was hallucinating! Oh my god. Part 4, they are so cute together. Oh, this is for Belle and the Prince of the Forest. Purely platonic friendship. If your mind goes to any disgusting taboo places, then that's on you. Okay! <laughs> Part 5. I will never work with Coco Om again. Ever. Part 6. This part was originally over two minutes long. I had to cut away so much. P.S. No point in asking for it. It does not... Does no longer exist. Dose no longer exists. What was part six? Oh, that was, uh... Coda and... Pocahontas. Part seven, I don't know who closed and reopened the door. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see, I understand. They have a collaboration with someone. Wait. Hey, guys. That hold me closer one with the beast. Um. That was uploaded a year ago. Hey, guys! <laughs> this one's recent. <laughs> what? Is 
she is dedicated. Wow. Artist hint for the comment section. Their story lore is hidden in the background. Look for the Easter eggs, for there are many. Things to find include to where John Rolfe died. Three appearances of Eris before her reveal at the end. Two types of clues to what Eris is. What in the hell? Oh, I haven't started watching it. Did you guys start watching it? <laughs> I got distracted. I didn't start it immediately like I've been doing. Of course? Alright, alright. Don't spoil me. <laughs> Don't spoil it for me. I gotta find out what happens with the Beast and John Wolf. Is he a ghost? Invisible? I don't think so, because he'll like fade in and out. I think he's a ghost. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I did read the thing that says he's dead. Excuse me! <laughs> For daring to ask if this man is a ghost. After I read the thing. <laughs> well, la dee da I can't ask questions around here, I see. <laughs> I love that this music box has Cinderella. Wait, you're telling me that the one that you've been saying to show that you show to people you are my spouse now is literally from this same person that we've been watching that we're dedicated to watching? Oh my god! You are my spouse now, so Prince Eric literally is from Babel's doll! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't realize it was the same lady Hey, this song, like, is a bop He's glitching out.
Oh, this is Eris? The only animated Eris I know of is the one from, like, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. <laughs> I've never seen Sinbad. song <laughs> I like the song I didn't expect the kiss <laughs> I look back and they're kissing I'm like whoa can't you see that I found the right one at the wrong time like, come on, that slapped. That was a good song. That was a good song. We gotta do You're My Spouse now. This is so insane. <laughs> to see Prince Naveen.
spends his early morning reminiscing all the years of his marriage, both the ups and downs. But the way he was crying, I thought Eric was dead. Featuring Dimitri, Anesthesia, 1997, and Eric, the Little Mermaid, 1989. There really isn't a plot plot here. Even Thoth. Thoth? Thoth? There is a story. I want to believe that most of this is straightforward, so I will not add a story description. But if you have any questions, just ask. Bullet points, spoilers, both Nani and Cindy are adopted. They're adopted. Dimitri lost contact with his parents after he married Eric. The grandchildren on the wall are Cindy's biological kids. Naveen and Audrey are Dimitri's close friends. Eric is an actor. Belle is his co-worker. Eric recovered from his cancer and he lived to celebrate his and Dimitri's... Uh, excuse me, Demeter's uh, golden wedding and a ver ver verkery. A.K.A. married for 50 years. Headcanons that are obvious... That are not obvious slash shown here. Dimitri is gay. Well, Eric is ace slash homo romantic. Okay. Cindy walked in her father's thought steps and got a career in the arts. Nani became an Olympic surfer. Cindy married a wonderful man and got two children. She just got them. She got two children. <laughs> Nani, ace arrow, never married. Slash got a life partner or had biological children, but lived a fulfilling life nonetheless. She did, however, become a mother figure to a teenage foster child later in life. I have plans of making a spin off video about her. This was seven years ago. Where is that spin off? Nani has ADHD. Great. <laughs> Compared to Dimitri, um, Eric's family hold nothing against him for who he is. Dimitri was a photographer. Idea that had to be cut due to lack of space. The reason why Eric is so sad during the after party was because he had recently been slandered in the news for not being straight. Dimitri... The amount of times that they write this man's name and they've only spelled it correctly twice within this whole situation. It's really incredible. <laughs> Dim Terry, a paparazzi at the time, had been assigned the mission to get pictures of the humiliated star, but instead of doing his job, he came out of the closet himself. Good for Dim Terry. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Yeah, this one's crazy. This one's actually insane. I love it. I love that this one's genuinely, actually insane. Glad you liked it. Yeah, it was it was a good one. It was a good one. Thanks for thanks for making sure that we knew to watch this one. You know what? I'm starting. I I think we should have our our own uh, crack ship that we should uh, hope that someone out there puts in the effort of making one of these. But for that, and I want it to be um, what's his name? What's his name from Hundred and One Dalmatians? Arthur? That can't be his name. What's his name? <laughs> I feel like no one ever does anything with him. Roger! Close enough. Roger and, uh, who should he be with? You guys pick the other half. I I did the work of, of saying Roger. You guys, uh, pick the other half. Scar? Cruella? Mmm... That's not crack chippy enough. Ursula, Maleficent, Gaston. These are all wonderful options. Oh, that Homie Closer song is from Eurovision 2022. Interesting. Quasimodo. <laughs> I think that's perfect. <laughs> like, it's gotta be a ship that you look at and you're like, that's literally insane. Like, th that's that's what you have to have, right? You gotta look at it and be like, this person is actually insane. Like, clinically, I think Quasimodo is the right choice. <laughs> Quasi Roger. <laughs> Quasi Roger. Congrats. Wait, there's another Jane Amelia from five years ago. This person has a second channel? Oh, they have a second channel where they actually show, like, how they made stuff. Wait! Sanctuary, Peter Pan, and Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. A triangle? What would the what would the third part of the triangle be? <clears throat> What's the third part of the triangle of Quasimodo and Roger? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's everything I thought it was going to be. It's Sanctuary from Kingdom Hearts 2. Yes. Yep, that's Sanctuary. It is. <laughs> It's that sanctuary. My sanctuary. My sanctuary now. Fills and lies melt away. Alright, this is the one with Peter Pan and Kiki. It's like the sanctuary. <laughs> Discord Fluttershy video? That's like normal. <laughs> that was like a for real ship that people had. That's not like crack shippy. Why are we watching San? Little John, like the bear? Yeah, this is a collab. How? Bell? <laughs> Bell with how? Wait. This isn't how. <laughs> That's not the inside of his castle. Oh, there's how. That's my husband. Back off. <laughs> Someone make an AMV of me and Hal Jenkins. Thank you. <laughs> Fast 
to see All I fear Means nothing Nani! Yeah, Ponyo's here. She's hanging out with Ariel. That makes sense. Haku! Alice? Bushu. <laughs> Kira? I'm losing it. <laughs> Calcifer, hey! Mm, I have to say, I really deeply appreciate how it's not like they're just masked out. She even does color grading to try to make them, like, match. That's that extra effort. That's that extra polish. <clears throat> Tink and Arietti? Wait, was that, was that supposed to be Calcifer and Mushu, like, being a thing? Or I thought they were just standing next to each other. <laughs> Ariadne's small. She's a gatherer. No face. And Belle's back here with my man. Oh, he's not very well masked. I... You know... I just keep feeling insane. <laughs> Oh, this is a re-upload. Apparently, the original got copyright claimed by Ghibli. Hilarious. Actually, so funny. So they have this series that I'm seeing. When I when I look at their 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 channel, right? They have this series called To Belong. And it's like seven parts right now? Do we get invested in a series? Like, what's going on with the series? I, I kind of want to know. I kind of want to know. What's going on with To Belong? Is this Elsa and Eugene? Oh my god, another Jane and a Captain Amelia. They stand Jane and Captain Amelia. Oh wow, that Breath of Life one, the Ariel one, is the first thing on this channel. All right, all right, all right. Part one. Part one of Two Belong. What's going on here? 
In a land where every human has their own animal form, we will follow three orphan siblings as they journey far and wide in order to help a young lord find his way back home. <clears throat> the story should hopefully be very simple to follow now when there are subtitles. Oh my god, there's there's dialogue. Ages, Jim, 15, Anya, 19, Sinbad, 24, and Charming, 21. All right. Is this all we need to know to jump in? English is my third language and she's dyslexic. Hey, go off, girly. No wonder you can't spell Dimitri. <laughs> No wonder you can't spell Dimitri. I get it. Too many eyes. <laughs> oh my God, he is Balto. Trash can. <laughs> I got fired too. Sorry. <laughs> For, for changing in and out of like the animal forms is pretty solid. A dozen. I didn't read the rest of that because I I got caught on dozen. It's not my birthday. <clears throat> Here's the thing, right? I feel like Sims Machinimas also works of art, obviously, but I feel like they're not nearly the amount of effort that these are. Like Sims, you just play with them like they're little dolls, and you can get mods to make them do certain like poses and animations. This stuff, this is pure video editing and like scouring through footage and then masking it out like this is some real effort man my bgm it's on Yeah, it really is like professional level masking. Yeah, Sinbad is spirit and Jim is Balto. She hasn't turned into anything yet. that Jim's supposed to be 15.
<laughs> Wait, why is Aladdin bad? Who is this? Oh my god! <laughs> a thief? Yeah, but he wasn't like evil. He wasn't a wolf trying to attack someone. He was a thief trying to 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 give food so that he could live. Come on now. I know someone didn't listen to the Aladdin songs. Why is stream so quiet? Sounds like a desert? What do you mean it's so quiet? I think you're a queen thing thank you. And we're watching crazy things. <laughs> we're watching stuff that's literally insane. Part two. Should I start pinning the links, I guess? Oh, it's this song. The most accurate payment. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> the fact that she just... So I've decided I'm gonna act like less of a bitch when I'm around you. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it. No wind, but your hair can move? Yeah! Thank you, Hakeem. Thank you, thank you. Everyone's just vibing. Why is he suddenly the deer?
Wait, so can everyone turn into animal in this world? I guess so. That's what we read on the first description. It just feels like no one else does it. Or like it almost feels like they're ostracized for it. I don't know why. A servant girl missing her head? What? Oh my god. Oh my god, what happened? What's going on? <laughs> They had to replace the song. <laughs> the fact that Jim corrected him. Oh my god, they've been saying fanny pants on purpose this whole time. So he was saying fanny pants and then he said fanny pants and then now the prince is like, it's fancy pants. Holy shit! Do you think that's like a real thing? Or like, did someone point out their mistake and then they made it into the... Into the script? We have still not seen Anya change into anything. What the fuck does she become? Yeah, it's Demeter time. Dim tree. Dim teary. D Dimitri <gasps> Aurora Oh, she's a water? <laughs> she's a water. <laughs> point where we start seeing like 
repeated footage being masked in? Like, are we gonna notice it? Because that's one thing uh, that I think about, right? Like, there's only the one, like, movie. They've, they've used that one uh, f piece of footage of, like, Jim sulking before, for sure. I wonder if they write based off of the footage... ...like, somewhat, right? Like, cause I think it would be much more difficult to to write and then be like, "Well, I hope there's footage that matches this." Surely they they know what footage they have and then kind of base what they're going to write off of that as well. Oh my God, he's got a sword. Gross. <laughs> Filth. Apparently, blonde guy is Phoebus or Simba. Who is Nala? Who is Nala? Is Anya not fish? Anya's not a fish! She's not water, they lied! Mulan? <laughs> She's not a water, they lied! They lied to have a secret of of having her be her form be a secret so that they would have the upper hand in case they needed it. She's not a water. I don't know why she had a fire flashback. What is this setting? Oh, she must have some sort of trauma, like, linked to being in her animal form. can't believe this child grows up to be Sinbad. <laughs> the upper head makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 
maybe it's less so the upper hand and more like, again, it's probably because of the fact that Anya clearly has trauma linked to being in her animal form. Where she feels responsible for their mother's death? So they were just trying to protect her from having to transform and lied and said that she's a fish. This much foot of a, a Prince Charming? Uh, Cinderella 2 and 3? I don't know if he's as... present in 3? But... 3 gave him a lot? Okay, yeah, so 3, yeah. 2, he's not, like, around a super ton, but, like, yeah, 3 exists. Cinderella 3 is, like, uh, shit gets twisted, and Cinderella, like, has to marry the prince again, essentially. Time shenanigans. Isn't Cinderella 3 literally Cinderella 3 a twist in time? It, or reeks of sin is such a tough line? I mean, look, man. Some raw stuff in here. <laughs> I will admit, sometimes I get distracted by looking at the actual footage and I don't read the dialogue in time. There is no fire! Calm down, Anya! She's freaking it hard. Oh, was her mom also a lion? Hey, Mulan. <laughs> Is there going to be something there? Is, is this a Mulan Anya situation? Oh? Mulanya? This is such somber music for them being all like, Oh, you shit brains! <laughs> As I was say, this one feels really long. It is, it's seven minutes. Seven and a half minutes. Who's the squirrel? I don't know. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Esmeralda. Yeah, the next one's ten and a half. Wow. All right, buckle up. Wait, 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 pause, wait, pause, wait, pause, wait, pause. I saw something in the video description. Wait, pause. Originally, I wanted to be done with it already, but since the Kickstarter project for Too Belong went into production, I had to change my plans. A Kickstarter? I have to... I have to research. <laughs> in a land where all humans have an animal form, three homeless siblings go on a journey in order to help find... A, help a lord find his way. Yep, to belong the animated series. Also known as Please Help a Random Scandinavian Film Graduate Fulfill Her Dreams of Bringing Her Story to Life. So this is just... She's using... The Disney and, and such like to tell her story because she doesn't have the ability to get a full animated thing on her own. And so she did the Kickstarter for it. The character designs are cute. That's crazy. The latest update was in 2021. Just a quick post so that people know I'm still alive, even if barely kicking. My ongoing health problems forced me to take a step back from all my hobbies and projects, including this one. Hence the delay and updates on all my social media. I hope she's good. Not someone saying 11 months ago that they requested their money back. There's no way. This person, it's been four years since this project was funded and eight months since the last update almost to the day, about a year ago. You're not getting your money back. You're not getting your money back, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding? One, your bank's not going to refund you by now. Two, that money's already spent. Three, uh, Kickstarter doesn't give a shit. 
Kickstarter very specifically says like, hey, you give this money knowing that uh, if a product isn't delivered that you just gave your money anyway, so... Like, that's literally the thing. Kickstarter is not responsible for it being delivered. You're so not getting your money back, dude. Alright, now I can watch this part. Even then, like, $11,000 is not that much for an animated project. Animation's not cheap. Start from zero? Oh, I already started up. You watch from wherever you are. MK is literally shoestring for animation. It really is, yeah. Especially if we're wanting to make an animated series? Oh, are we getting Sinbad? Ex Esmeralda? Is this the ship? <laughs> On the ship? <laughs> The ship on the ship? Is he with Bell? That's so weird. What are their plans for Cinderella? Why can't he just be with Cinderella? Why does it sound like someone's throwing weights onto the ground above me? Calm down up there. Is Jim giving him the shovel talk? <laughs> oh my god, he is. I want an Oreo right now. <laughs> One singular Oreo. Open a whole pack just for one. I don't have any Oreos. I actually, I really want to try. Like, there is now Oreo, like, ice cream. Like, from Oreo itself. Like, there's ice cream bars and ice cream cones. I want to try them. I bet they're yummy. They also recently made mint, like mint chocolate ice cream. So it's like mint with Oreo pieces. 
Yeah, official Oreo ice cream. I've never seen it in person though. There's also, there's also s'mores Oreos right now. Enjoy the descent of madness. Thank you for coming by. Kira, the squirrel? Is she? No. No, Kita's not the squirrel. Potatoes, yeah. <gasps> Yesterday for lunch, I had two sweet potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> They were small. Is the squirrel Pocahontas? Do you think? We did see Pocahontas for a moment. How did you prep them? I'm gonna be honest, I was lazy, I microwaved them. Oh shit! We are not getting Sinbad as Merelda. <laughs> Wowzers! That makes me sad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Were you really pulling for Sinbad as Merelda? Treason. Don't accept this canon. Start writing about it. Write your own story. Yeah, what'd you do? Oh my god, Anya's like, a few weeks ago, I said I would kill you. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes I just vibrate. Have you seen that? <laughs> Sometimes my head's just like... <laughs> Weird. No, this music definitely does not match what's happening right now. Jim fell overboard! <gasps> Squirrel is Ariel! That's why she doesn't know words! That's why it's potatoes! Well, then what happened with Pocahontas earlier? I'm full of bees. 
Yeah. Stop dropping shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, bears? Anya became water. <laughs> Guys, we're getting up to like the the last part. Cause we have six, and then seven's the last one. This is so sad. Pocahontas. Guys, you know what's so sad? It says in the description, there will be two more parts. And we only have part seven left to watch. Part 8 was supposed to be the last one. Now we'll never know. They have fully masked Pocahontas' head onto someone else, I think. Who is- whose body is this? The serious world is like a more sane Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> whose body has Pocahontas taken? I am not reading any of this dialogue. What is going on? I don't think it's the stepmother from Cinderella. I don't recall her looking like that. Her dress is more like burgundy-ish. Who is that? I'm sorry, was that just Ariel with on with with Anastasia's face edited onto her? That was so not her for a second. This body also is not Pocahontas's. What is happening here? Purple dress is from a character in Anastasia? Oh, I think I watched Anastasia like once in my life. Maybe. Uh oh, Tulio. She's so fuzzy. <laughs> she was so blurry. I thought Anya was going to be with Mulan.
Oh my god. <gasps> she put her hand up. She can't stay. She can't stay. She's got to go look for them. <laughs> no word from the scout. No, it's Coolio. Okay, so it's titled I Would Hurt a Fly because the song says I Would Hurt a Fly. He's right there. God, you should be asleep if you've not had to wake up early for whatever. This is insane! Guys, I don't think we're gonna get all the answers that we want with this being the last posted part. And the fact that it was supposed to have another part left. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a trailer? It's just not the same. But I guess we'll have to watch the trailer. It says on hiatus. For how long? <laughs> yeah, it's 13 plus because it has alcoholism, blood, and murder guides. Come on. Show that you're old enough to watch this. Yeah, Belle turning into the lady does make sense, yeah. Why do they just exist as animals, though, sometimes? Would you just do that in your daily life? Would you just walk around as your animal self? Yes? Let 
Like the fact that she had to paw that door open instead of just opening it. Oh, he's being a dick. Who's this man? Is this John Rolfe? I only recognize him because wasn't he the ghost in the video with Beast earlier? That looks like his clones. <laughs> In the story, he's Charming's brother. How are they related to Pocahontas? Like, for real, though? Brother is married to Polka? Oh, so she's sister-in-law? That makes more sense. Do we think that's it? <laughs> I thought they were just siblings for real, like all of them. No, foolish brothers of mine. Yeah, no, they're siblings. <laughs> so how... Okay, whatever. Jeans. You know what? Kudos to them for that effort in him drinking. Good attempt. Uh-oh, Bell's mad. That's the exact same shot. <laughs> Twice in a row? Come on now. He did fall off the wagon. Was he ever on the wagon? Wait, wait, it just hit me, the fact that he's he's being tried for murder murder of his brother and his fiance. What does he do to Belle? Oh my god, do you guys think it's Tulio? <gasps> it's Tulio! Oh my god. Oh, 
Or is it him? Dude, I'm gonna be pissed if we don't find out. <laughs> yeah, Phoebus? Is it Phoebus or was it Tulio? Because this idiot surely didn't do it. <gasps> A blood moon. I see why it's 13 plus now. Oh my god. There's holes. <laughs> Body reveal gave me Dongenwompa <laughs> Oh, I did actually find out I can play Dongenwompa. But if I want to be able to monetize it, it has to be like a la Nintendo style of being like, Hey, I'm playing it this day, like every time. Wait, what happened to Cindy? I wasn't paying attention. Wait, so Cindy wanted to be with Charming? Oh, she helped him run away. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Seems like Polka set it up. I don't think she set it up. I think because we saw her saying it to Tulio, right? Like, if she was the only heiress, then she could take care of the kingdom better. She said that to Tulio. I don't think that she would have done it herself, but I think Tulio took that and said, Don't worry, my lady. I've got this. What is his place in the world? We haven't really seen him find his place in the world. Well, that's true. We did see Tulio get ordered by someone else. But I don't think that someone else was Pocahontas. Someone else is pulling the strings. Right? Like, it's gotta be. I don't think Pocahontas is evil. That seems, like, too... Too obvious. Of a twist. Someone else is behind the scenes. Granted, we'll never know. <laughs> More than likely. Because it's on hiatus and we're all going to forget that this exists. <laughs> we're going to forget that this exists and not care about it later. I mean, I saw what she looked like, but I don't think that she actually was being evil there. I think it was her being mad that her brother was dead, and then the, her other brother's fiancé was dead, and she and Cinderella had helped him escape. And so she was like, oh, I'll take care of you. Because, like, obviously it's like, hey, this this is fucked up. Like, to help a murderer escape, especially in the time that this seems to be trying to be set in, that seems right. To be... to die? For your crime? That seems right.
Where did she say anything? I don't know. I still don't fully believe. She said one year ago, hopefully sometime next year. Great. Cool. And that one year ago was like 2021 uh, or like 2022, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, man. She seems to have basically disappeared. She has commissions and a Patreon. Plans on making it, so how'd you make the trailer? Poka Odette is weird to see in the trailer. Oh, this trailer doesn't tell me anything. I wanna know now! <laughs> Angry. This is fucked up. I want to know now. Her last post on Patreon was February 19th, 2020. I think this woman has disappeared from the internet. And that's so fucked up. Someone six hours ago asked about the finale. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Part eight will take some time. I'm never gonna see it. I'm gonna forget that it exists. You don't understand. <laughs> I'm gonna forget that I even cared about this in like three days. <laughs> three hours? No, I'll remember it for the rest of today, probably. I went to go listen to the Hold Me Closer song. She's barefoot. <laughs> That watching a, a whack crack ship AMV of Beast and John Wolf 
would lead to finding an actually good song. Tarantino, is that you? I'm so curious what my YouTube homepage looks like now. Hold on. <laughs> Actually, for the most part, it's still fine. Nice. <laughs> YouTube has not decided that I only want to see Disney Crackship AMDs. I've I've made it. I'm safe. I am safe. Yeah, mine has like another Crackship AMV on it, but it's not like all Crackship AMVs. We're good. This one's 13 plus 2. It's Dimitri and Thumbelina. I can't watch more of these. I can't do it. I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop. This can't... This can't go on. <laughs> Passion for lies that Joker x Aerith? What the fuck? <laughs> What? Why does that exist? I mean, I'm so glad, but like, why? Yeah, Aerith from Final Fantasy VIII, yep. Yeah. From Final... F yeah, from Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah. That's it. I wrote a bag in 2009. I just... The Joker? The Joker! And Aerith! Beep. Which Joker? That is actually a good question. Which Joker is it? Which one did they put with this... This lady? I remember when this was... <laughs> when that was the point Heath Lever Ledger live action Joker What the hell? <laughs> they put a live action Joker with Aerith from Final Fantasy 7? Now I gotta try to find this. Passion for Lies, the Joker X Aerith. 14 years ago! Hold on. The description. F you, trolls. This video isn't going anywhere. Deal with it. Just because you don't like what I do doesn't mean I'm going to come... Come form... To your ways. Give it up. Or don't. Really. Did you guys know that every time you come in here and bitch with comments, 
that will just be de deleted. D E L E A T E D. I get another view. My goal is to have 10k views on this. I think that'd be awesome. So yeah, be my guest. Keep passing it around. More views for me. Ratings disabled due to trolling. Comments set to approval only. Empty conversations filled with empty words. Wait, there's like a big story written actually for this. <laughs> like it kisses my alt. <laughs> I mean, they've they've done it. They're at fifty eight thousand views. Oh my god, they most recently posted two years ago. Oh my god. They're doing Kingdom Hearts AMVs now. Um, 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 there's a video on this channel that I don't like the look of. <laughs> You guys want to see the Joker X Aaron? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm getting donkey kicked in the chest by these videos. Don't talk like one of them, cause you're not. <laughs> Was that a kiss? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Be forgiven. I never blamed you. Aerith comforts Cloud's restless soul before drawn back suddenly to her church, an identical one that's in the live stream, when she hears chuckling nearby. I thought my jokes were bad, a man says as he moves closer to her, calling her on her bluff to Cloud. She stares back at him, realizing that he had overheard her conversation with Cloud. You look nervous, he says. Aerith becomes confused, sad, but also frustrated and angry. How dare he come into her church and call her a liar even if it was true? Stop it, she says. And furthermore, how could he know? She Shed kept her secret, but growing resentment towards Cloud and their friends a secret. 
Shed never allowed anyone to see how much pain she was in from having to watch her friends live out their lives while she was stuck here for what? To be their divine intervention? To save them whenever things got rough? She envied their life, and that slowly became hatred and resentment. You don't belong here. Don't talk like one of them. You're not, he cuts her off. Even if you'd like to be, he says gently. Aerith stares back at him, wondering how this complete stranger could know her so well. They need you right now. When they don't, they'll cast you out, the Joker continued. Aerith thought of her friends, considering what the Joker was telling her. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. Oh, excuse me. It'll show you. My bad. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. Over the next few weeks, the Joker stayed with Aerith and showed her friendship, real friendship, not like the kind she had with the living where she was only there to save them and then to be quickly forgotten or depressed over. She began to forget about Cloud and the others talking with the Joker every day, laughing with him, falling for him. When they act on these newfound feelings for each other, Aerith forgets Cloud and the other completely moving on. And without her divine intervention, her old friends start dropping like flies. But she doesn't care anymore. It isn't her job. What about her happiness? What about what she wants? That's the story. This video was made on my opinion that no one can be that selfless. There's no way there isn't another side of Aerith, the sad, lonely, maybe even angry or envious side. Also, the pairing was just too hard to resist. What was it? What was it? Too... Too hard to resist? What was it? <laughs> Visual AO3 <laughs> That's what this is feeling like What's go what's up with the progress with uh, In the End here? What's going on here? Lincoln Park In the End With Aqua Like, the video is still badass and touching. <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite part of it? Wait, actually, this in the end progress video kind of fucks. It is kind of funny that the dialogue still has the the music from the actual scene that it was in. My favorite part is when the music spells out when she says I love you. <laughs> yeah, that aqua. That aqua. There's a lot of Kingdom Hearts on here. Oh my god, is this Effie from Skins? Yeah, I like Aqua. I really love Terra. Like, I know... In, in my young times, it was all about Riku Kingdom Hearts. But I think now it'd be about Terra Kingdom Hearts. I've grown. <laughs> I learned Terra exists. 
he's big and stupid and beat up a child. And I love that. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> no, Tara. Well, Tara had silver hair when he was being possessed, but he has brown hair normally. He's really cute. His final battle was really cool. Yeah. For for those of you right from for for those of you, you know, who are familiar with put Peter Pan in his place, that's from Tara. That's Tara. He did that. <laughs> He did that. Chat, it's broken that screen. That's because I didn't put the URL in it. Because why would we go to that screen today other than just right now? You guys actually work on that screen. You worked for like two seconds. Hey, come back. Where, where'd you go? You worked for two seconds. I saw you. <gasps> See? Look, you work on here. Yeah, look, there you are. I don't know why you're not working on the other one. Look, mom on the telly. <laughs> you guys like the new, uh, the new dono goal, uh, subject for this month? <laughs> the clown nose supply. <laughs> Hong Kong. How many noses can you buy with 1.5k? You know what? I don't know. I made you appear! How many noses do you go through in a month? Well, you know, when you eat spicy things and you get all snotty, it ruins your clown noise. I figured out how to fix you! At least on the screen, I can't do that in your real lives. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't figured that one out. Sorry to say. But I have fixed you on the screen. Okay, my therapist gave up <laughs> Sorry to say, I don't know how to how to fix you in the other way yet. What what how much clown nose costs? So there's different types of clown noses, right? There's like the big foam ones which suck. And then there's like the the custom fit sort of like plasticky ones flip on noses shop now the classic the julie gold the albert fratellini the emmett kelly the joan mankin holy shit 
Okay, so this place, which is like clown noses for real clowns, it's like $50 for one nose. However, they have a glitter one. They have glitter ones that are $58.60. I think I would spring for glitter. Just to be honest, I think I would go for the glitter. So, $1,500 would get you 25 glitter clown noses, not including tax. Only 25 of them. One for every day? Pretty much. No, Kevin, that's not the math. I just pulled up my calculator and I literally did the math. 1500 divided by 58.6 because the glitter ones are $58.60, and that's not including tax, it's 25.59. You cannot get... <laughs> .59 of a clown nose. It's 25 clown noses. You fool. I literally did the math. <laughs> I had the calculator. I put it in. They have realistic dog, werewolf, or cow nose? Whoa. Yeah, but you can't buy 0.6 of a nose. They have clown shoes. Can you guess how expensive the clown shoes are? They're probably really good quality. True professional clown shoes handmade by our friends in Franca, Brazil. The shoemaking capital of Brazil and Latin America. They're made with quality non-costume shoe using real leather and durable stitched slip-resistant soles. Wow. They are $250. Wow. That's, you know, that's pretty good. Because, I mean, if you think about it, they're leather, they're stitched soles. If you, like, go to get a pair of boots, they would be about that much, yeah. Leather is expensive. Safety approved? I mean, they're slip resistant. These have hearts. Cute. I know everyone's used to just buying plastic that falls apart on you in six months. But, like, no, $250 is actually a very reasonable price for those shoes. <laughs> when you want to slip, mm, 
that depends on if that's your bit. If you're if that's not your bit, then no, you definitely would not want to slip. I'm just saying in general, everyone's used to buying like, oh, it's vegan leather or whatever. That's just that's just another phrase for fucking plastic. It's plastic. You're buying cheap crap and paying a premium because it called itself vegan. And it's gonna fall apart on you. Stuff is okay for some things, but definitely not shoes and clothes. I mean, not even like handbags. Usually. Like, cause if you see, like, bags that have, like, the vegan leather, they start to, like, peel and stuff. Same thing with, like, office chairs. They peel. Not real leather, Kevin. We're talking about fucking plastic. The stuff that they call vegan leather. You don't listen to anything. <sighs> yeah, it used to just be called pleather. But now they call it vegan leather because it, it makes people think that it's better. Vegans have issues using anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. So vegans don't, like, eat or use any sort of, like, animal product. Which, like, you know, people will sit there, like, some vegans will sit there and argue, like, well, the, the meat industry is bad for the environment. And it's like, okay, baby, what about all your plastic vegan leather? That's also terrible for the environment. What about that? In fact, leather is better for the environment. If we have the meat industry, you know, if the if every piece is being used, it's actually better for everyone. So it's... Leather's better. And it's not biodegradable? Yeah, like, the plastic does not biodegrade. And, like, pleather is probably not even recycled. Except for the animals? Well... That's life. Plastic recycling is a scam. Yeah. Yeah, that's the food chain for you. I don't think the lion feels bad about eating the gazelle. And the humans are omnivores by their literal scientific nature. The lion could be sentimental. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's definitely some stuff that we eat that we definitely should not eat. Like, we're... we... We were not meant to process, uh, cow's milk. The people who are lactose intolerant are actually, uh, the, the correct ones. 
their bodies are the right ones. <laughs> It's the rest of us that are fucked up. The lion be like, damn bro, why you make me have to eat you? Fucked up. <laughs> Not this again. Say no to big milk. <laughs> Tell Big Milk to shove it! <laughs> Stop drinking milk! Eat cheese and drink milk? I do like cheese. I do like cheese, I can't lie. Never recovered from this last time. <laughs> How? How could you have not recovered? What happened to you? Huh? Huh? What's there to recover from? Mentally scar me for my love of milk? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> so I did my job. <laughs> I did it. I achieved my goals. <laughs> I've done it. God, my eyebrows go crazy. I do think I, I have a habit of like... Furring my brows and not even realizing it and then being like, Ugh. Calm down. Stop looking angry. It's the resting bitch face. I have a glasses that I help. You absolute menace. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Had the thought, I was like, can I move the lighting? I can. I can make my face glow. This is the best I can do for lighting from below. Spooky, spooky story. And then Eric came in. And he was bald. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> Bald Eric was so funny. Why was he that funny? 
Oh, not YouTube's being like, hey, don't you want to listen to Billie Eilish when the party's over karaoke version? Like, no. Maybe. No. It's funny to listen to it with no words. <laughs> There's the backing vocals. time setting of that video. I have sang it in karaoke before. Fake fam. <laughs> wow, fake fan. I have Didn't I do it for the song? Not song, the sad song The sad song karaoke Nothing feels better sometimes Once we both said our goodbyes Let's just let it go Let me let you go Why when I'm coming home and I'm on my own? I go say I like it like that, I like it like that. When can we expect the Sonic karaoke? I have to batter my ears with Sonic songs. Sonic Adventure 2 OST. Let me start. <laughs> Let me get it going. <laughs> Day 27th, my birthday. Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes! And it would probably mostly be songs from Sonic Adventure 2. Come on now. I mean, when you think about, like, Sonic songs, most of them are from, like, Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, the character songs. You know, you gotta get Rouge the Bats. And then... Oh, you also gotta get, like, Sonic Adventure 1, because you got Amy's... Ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
ba ba ra ra ba ba. Sweet say yes, sweet. Boo 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 boo. Sweet say yes, sweet. Da ra ba ra ba ba ra. Sweet say yes, sweet. Na 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 meow meow. I know, uh, sweet, sweet, oh, so sweet. Those are the lyrics I know from that one. Yup. <laughs> I've got a doesn't matter from Sonic Adventure 2 in my ears right now. <laughs> I was not kidding when I said, let me start right now. I put it on. Oh, didn't they recently be Bloodborne? Nice! I feel like I can feel my brain rattling around in my skull. Beep beep bop beep and it's like oh my brain <sighs> da 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 meow 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 There are songs on this OST that I am like, there's words to this? Like this, believe in myself? Like, there's words to this? <laughs> like, I've heard the, the beginning and I'm like, there's words? Watch a video that said everyone in Sonic Adventure talks like ransom notes and will never forget it. I mean, yeah. Oh, look, like yesterday, I crouched down to, um, ps -ps 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 at the cat, right? And then I go and stand up, and my, bur and my body's like, you know what? Being functional and good is not for us. And, like, my vision nearly blacked out and everything. I'm like, cool. <laughs> so, apparently, orthostatic hypotension... Sit up too quick? Uh, yeah, I guess. But the thing is, is like, I don't typically have it very often from like sitting or lying down, which is usually what like orthostatic hypotension will, will do. It's like more often whenever I like crouch or like squat down, which is apparently like initial orthostatic hypotension is what that's called, I think. It's like, oh boy, let me take a few steps and not have my vision black out completely. Actually, that happened to me once when I was, like, much younger. Where it happened, and I, like, full collapsed onto the ground. <laughs> I went down. It was in the same house where I bashed my head <laughs> and had to get stitches. Da da ba ba ba.
No, that wasn't related to that. These were different instances. <laughs> I didn't get hurt whenever I fell that time when I collapsed and blacked out from the... everything. Is this linked to this? Orthostatic intolerance is frequently reported in young women with generalized hypermobility spectrum disorder. Okay, yep, that makes sense. At this point, anytime there's something that's like fucky or weird about my body, I just go and Google if it could be linked to hypermobility and 99% of the time it is. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> cool, yeah, it's because my body is made of taffy. <laughs> That makes sense. It's because I'm made out of taffy. <laughs> Apparently other 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 issues as well can be. Told you it was weird to be able to touch your thumb to your forearm. What? It was so easy. I didn't think that. It was weird. My bad. I thought it was normal because it was so easy to do. Banana taffy? I don't know. What kind of taffy would I want to be? Let's look at Etsy. <laughs> Maybe we can find some nice taffy on there to be. <laughs> Salt water taffy. Taffy is one of those things that makes me feel like I'm going to rip all my teeth out of my skull. You know what I'm talking about? I love taffy, but it does make me feel like I'm gonna rip my teeth out of my skull. You hate it? Oh, I love it. Oh, this place! This place, they have strawberry cheesecake, granny's apple pie, spiced carrot cake, lemon meringue pie, red velvet batter, birthday cake, cookie dough banana dream pie, and key lime pie. I wanna try their taffy. That sounds delicious. I want to try. As a kid, a fun sensation. As an adult, unsettling. Yeah, now if I eat taffy, I just sort of let it like melt in my mouth. Now I want taffy. Get you some taffy. Meow, 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 meow. What is taffy? Candy. It's candy. <laughs> oh, 
Let's look up taffy. Salt water taffy. Soft and chewy candy. It is made from sugar, corn syrup, butter, corn starch, flavoring, and coloring. And then it's, it's stretched. It's stretched for a long time. How Shriver's saltwater taffy is made using a 200 what? 200 year old technique. What's fucked about it be uh, fucked up about it being called uh, salt water is there's no salt. I think a salted taffy could be delicious. I think it could be really yummy. No, they don't just scoop up seawater. It feels like a lie. Would you guys ever want to be a candy maker? I go underwater to make it flavored. Yeah, it depends. They, they can have all sorts of flavors. Sounds boring to be a candy maker. I think candy making's cool, but I also just like to watch candy making videos, so I have like a different opinion, probably. Like to make candy for a living, that'd be fun, right? It is really difficult, yeah. I like to watch candy making videos. I know people usually will watch like the ones that's like making the image candy. I don't really care about that. I like seeing the stuff from the other like candies that they make. Cooking and baking stressful, so I'll pass here. Here's the thing with candy making though, right? You use a, a thermometer and you just cook it up to the the temperature that you cook it, and then that's it. Like, it's not anything else. You literally just cook it to the temperature it needs to be on the thermometer, and then it's done cooking. So it's really not that much of, like, actually cooking. How they make traditional raw candy? I have not. Like, candy making is honestly more, like, of a physical workout than it is, like, a cooking or baking job. Because you're working with these giant, like, batches of candy, and a lot of them you have to pull. But you're also, like, super heavy. Any video of candy making you recommend? I like watching Lofty Pursuits. And... I don't watch them as much now, but I used to watch a lot of Lofty Pursuits. And then I also like, uh, Hercules candy. Rock candy is a long cylinder of candy with words in the middle of it. Oh! Rock candy to you is different from rock candy to me. Rock candy to me is the the type of candy that's just like sugar that's been crystallized around a stick. So it looks like rocks. You have a different rock candy. So you're talking about, like, the image candy? Because I've watched a lot of videos of, like, the image candies and stuff like that.
Japanese pal named Mochi of Hammers. I mean, that's like candy. Have you guys ever had Kompeto? I had it once years ago. It's so yummy. It's just sugar. <laughs> it's just sugar. It's delicious. Kompeto is the star candy. The Japanese star candy is... Like, you know the candies that, like, soot sprites carry around? It's that. I love Kompeto. It's so yummy. I would be a little soot sprite carrying around Kompeto. I do my little soot spread job and you 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 spread out some competo for me as my payment and I go yay <laughs> Yippee <laughs> It's really only expensive because it's an import sort of thing. Yeah, the star bits, yeah. Milk candy is also really yummy. I love milk candy, but that's also super expensive. Which I know I'm anti milk, but milk candy yummy. And not drink milk. It's more like a cream flavor. No, I do not drink milk with ice on occasion. I do not drink milk unless I absolutely have to. It's not like I sit there and be like, you know what, I feel like having a glass of milk with some ice in it. No. I do not drink milk. Competo like spirited away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the, the things at the Susprites. Cereal? I very rarely have cereal. I can't tell you the last time I had cereal. Have you hated milk all your life? I've never really enjoyed drinking it. I'll drink it after cereal has been it because it doesn't taste like milk anymore. It tastes like cereal milk and that's different. No, I don't have cereal. I do not get cereal often. Have you guys ever watched fudge be made? Like... Like, actual chocolate fudge? I have. It's not my birthday! <laughs> I've watched fudge get made. Made fudge every year for a while? Do you do it like the proper way or the cheater way? Did I? Oh, he sold. Oh, I think I showed this guy to you. The four-legged jackal? Nope, Furby. He sold. That's so sad. I'll never have him. 
It was the guy with the big, big paws. <laughs> Not sure, I'm guessing the cheater way? Um, the cheater way is like with the condensed milk and all. <gasps> A fox, Furby! <gasps> is she cute? Eh. Kind of. I can't see her tail well enough. You want to see the guy that I can't have anymore? Furby of the Opera? I don't know. The Phantom of the Opera is here. I'm pretty sure I showed this guy to you. Him. I love him. <laughs> I'm so sad I'll never have him. He's so lovely. Yeah, him. I love him. I love him. He's so nice. He's so nice, I love him. Limited edition? It was one guy and he got sold. I'll never have him now. My life is so sad. I'll never have him. He's gone forever. He just looks like such a nice friend. <laughs> Saw that thing one night eating roadkill. <laughs> he looks like a friend. I would want to be small so I could ride him like a horse. That would be my dream. To have that creature exist and be real and be able to actually ride him like a horse. Just think of it. Just think of it. Well, think of how incredible that would be. My friend. The Furby. My friend, the Furby creature. The jack o I love him. I love him! <laughs> and his ears. Imagine the adventures you could go on together. Exactly! He's a friend. Held back and missed out. I don't remember how much he cost. It was probably too much. <laughs> yeah, he was $522, guys. He was five hundred dollars. I like his big le his big feet. Okay, what Disney character does that turn into for the Two Belong series? Um, Gaston. Yeah. I think that's him. Quasimodo? Mm, I could see that too, yeah. I just like Gaston. And his name's G A S G A S T G A S T O N Gaston! <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. And his name's no one transforms like Gaston. <laughs> Wrecks your dreams like Gaston. 
No one's got such incredibly large feet as Gaston. I can see it. Can't you? <laughs> And every last inch of him's covered in hair. <laughs> of all the lyrics to say clearly, no one creeps like Gaston with such beat, big feet like Gaston. <laughs> I'll take the Gaston diet and eat five dozen eggs. They're raw. They are raw. Are you willing to do that? Five dozen raw eggs? I felt like I needed to sneeze and it's gone. It's gone! Oh, to have this four and a half foot long Furby centipede. He's so cute. It's the pink one. It's the pink one. I love that pink one. I love him. He's so cute. I love him and he's so cute. If it gets me the Gaston build, yeah, it's worth it. You know what? I get it. I get it, yeah. You know what? I, I, I get it. Follow your dreams. Every last inch of him's covered in hair. No one. Yeah. Yeah, it's the pink one. He's so cute, I love him. Look at it. It's so cute. I love all the peats. Imagine those paws just tip tapping across your room. Going. <laughs> And then climbing up your wall and looking at you from the corner and going ah! <laughs> <laughs> You go, oh, you silly little guy, get down <laughs> Silly little guy, get down here And he goes tip 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 onto your shoulder. So we went in a fight. It or squirrel? Probably squirrel. She's pretty ferocious. Glossy pearl eyeballs a feature? Yeah. You little rascal, you're gonna leave prints on the wall. Yeah. You tell him. You say you gotta get down. You gotta get down! Use it as a scarf? Mm, not a very good one. It's only four and a half feet long. Most scarves are... are like, six feet-ish. But, I mean, you could put it around your neck. And if you get it with the spine, then it's posable. I love him. I want to have him one day. He's so cute. I think he's perfect. I think he's incredible. Explain why he's cute? Um, do you have eyes? Well, look at him.
He's so cute. He goes. Chip, 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 chip. He goes. Playing it out with you now. Do you guys ever do that like croaking thing? The uh, like the grudge croaking. Do you think he would make that noise too? I know it's your thing, but it reminds me of those budget analog horror monsters, especially when you have him crawling around. Yeah, I think that's the best part about him. I love him. He's so cute. He's perfect. You make a high pitched scree? Do you think? Little skittery noises? Here we go. She was real. I wish it was a real creature. I would I would have one as a pet 100%. I wish it was real. If there is a genie out there that could fulfill this wish for me, I would wish it. I would be smart enough to be like, and he has like the diet of a dog. Or whatever. But, you know, I wish this was a real creature. I do. Yeah. Wish to fix your hypermobility thing, but I could have a Furby centipede. I I could have a Furby centipede. Four things need to have more than four legs. I think more furry things need to have more than four legs. I mean, he just looks so lovely because he's long. And furry and has lots of little peats to go. Like, could you imagine? He's a little friend. You put him around your neck. He hangs out with you. He's warm and fuzzy. And he's got lots of little peats. He's got lots of little peats. I love him. What if they multiply? All the better. <laughs> Are you okay? I love him! What's not to love? Why am I not okay? Because I love him. Look at him. He wouldn't hurt anyone. He's a friend. He's a pal and a friend. I fully believe it. <gasps> oh my god, when you zoom into the picture, his his eyes, one of them has a heart as a pupil and the other has a star as a pupil. I love him. He's got love in his eyes. Looks like a pet an evil villainous would have and would blow smoke in his face. 
a la fifth element. <laughs> I love him. Ask the other kawaii girls what they think. Why? They don't need to have him. You guys don't need to have him either. I need to have him. For the low, low price of two hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> For the low, low price of two hundred and twenty-five dollars. That's less than a designer dog. What if they want one as well? They don't. They don't. Pull it in a group chat with insane imagery. She she found that because the fact that we were talking about safe for work Sasuke. <laughs> to her finding Itachi Fursona. Because we talked about safe for work Sasuke. No one. Something guessed on. <laughs> Lesson therapy, I guess? I mean, yeah. True. However, it's the same cost as circus lessons. Roundabout. Although circus lessons, you also have to pay the money to get to them and back from them. Makes them a little bit more expensive. I never saw we were watching Paul Blart. You can't force me to watch that movie. You will not trick me into saying yes to watching Paul Blart. At no point was Paul Blart mentioned as something to watch. Fudge! Cotton candy? Oh god, I need to eat dinner. <laughs> I said cotton candy and then my stomach said... Grub, grub, grub. Want to know what's going through Brutal Moses' mind as he decided to watch Paul Blart seven times? That's what I was saying. I saw that and I sent it to my brother and I was like, do you think he's okay? Because <laughs> he also watches Ian. Uh, so I sent it to him and I was like, is, is Ian okay? And he was like, no, this is clearly a cry for help. <laughs> Someone needs to reach out and let them know. And just thought, why? I, I saw it and also was like, why? Why would you do this to yourself? <laughs> hey, Ian. Are, are you good? Like, are you good? Are you okay? Ian? Well, now I'm just dreaming about my my long fur beat that will never be real. Even if I own a long fur beat, it won't be real. It won't be a real little guy that actually goes... T -t 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 and it won't be real. Now I'm sad about it. He won't be real. <laughs> I'll never have a long furry to hold in, in my bed, to curl up with me, to have his little peats run around everywhere and go. That's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. <laughs> 
A ferret? I love ferrets. I had one as a child. But you have to, like, fully baby-proof your house if you get a ferret. Like, and put, like, boards underneath all of your furniture and everything. It's a whole thing to have a ferret. We actively eradicate all sight of encountered in the wild? No, he was cute! He was cute! Don't ferrets kill rabbits too? Um, you don't have them outside. So unless you have a pet rabbit, that's not an issue. <laughs> All of my Furby friends are adorable. They're the best. See? He's cute. I love him. I want him. I wish he were real. I want him as a pet, for real. I want a real living creature of this. Starting to grow on me? He's adorable! <laughs> He's so cute! I love him! And then the other guy, I also love him! I love him! I wish he were my friend. I wish I were a small child. And this creature came to visit me in the night and we went on a fairy tale adventure together. <laughs> He'd show up in my yard in the night and I'd climb on his back and we'd go on a fairy tale adventure. <laughs> I love him. He's so cute. I love him. Look at it. He's such a friend. He's such a friend. Does website ha say how tall it is? I don't know. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. Baro baro baro. Do 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 do. No height. No height. I mean, whenever he's standing, he's as tall as their fireplace. I love him. He's such a pal. I wish he were mine. I think he's the best little guy. Some of you, cowards. You just don't know. <laughs> you just don't get it. <laughs> you don't understand what it's like to love a terrible nightmare creature. Da, na, 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 da. Look at me. On his hind legs? I mean, his legs do bend. <laughs> Give love a chance. <laughs> there's actually... There's actually this person that has, like, these pre-orders up of, like, concept Furbies. And, um... What do you think about him? He's a clown. I think he's... I think he's pretty cool. I think he's cool. I like him. He's a clown.
<laughs> this person? Oh. This person? Makes Furby partial fursuits. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. No. There's a clown one. But no. Furbies don't have long tails. That's not right. Furbies do not have long tails. Don't stare into the Furby of this it stares back. Do they have human hands normally? No. <laughs> no, they don't. I'm just saying Furbies don't have long tails. Oh. Oh my god, this creature? Oh my god, she's so cute! Oh my god, that's so cute! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I forgot about this guy. I forgot about this guy. Hey, you want to see one that even I don't like? Do you want to see one that even I don't like? <laughs> no. Yes. No. I don't like him. <laughs> oh, not me. I don't like him. He is spooky. Look at him. <laughs> like him. He's so scary. <laughs> the jump scare of it loading it. <laughs> Him. <laughs> I don't like him, guys. He's bad. Someone bought him. I found out that this thing existed from someone's review with the photo of him and I was like, oh my god. In which case the person says, I love the honorable lady so much. Yep. That's 
what they said. There are some pictures of some of these that are so cursed. Just like in terms of being an image. Catching a cryptid on camera. Anyways, I want the clown one. Not the not the first suit, but the other clown one. Yeah. Tiptoe. I think he would be really cute. There's images of some of the other clown ones that they've made. He looks so polite. <laughs> he looks so polite. Look at him! Polite! What a polite little guy! He's cute! He is Lello. He's already sold, though. His eye... Like, his faceplate's a little weird, but I like him. I like him! He's cute! And they have feet and can stand! And look, here's another clown one. Ta-da! So that's what the clown ones would look like. That's what Tiptoe would look like. I want Tiptoe now. <laughs> I want Tiptoe now. He would be so cute. Creature. That's what this guy would look like. I love him. He would be so cute. Just imagine. Picture it. Picture it in your mind's eye. This guy. Like those other guys. He'll be approximately 30 inches long and stand at about 12 inches tall. Baby blue and yellow fur. With a wire armature and be fully opposable, his feet and ears will be fleece, his collar will be ribbon, and his pom-poms will be yarn. Exact number of pom-poms may vary based on their size, but they will go down the length of his back. His hat will be EVA foam shape covered in fleece, ribbon, and a pom-pom. His faceplate will be a replica chippy plate made by Judifer. One to two months. For creation. I want tiptoe. <laughs> I want tiptoe. And I want the pink one. I want tiptoe, and I want my centipede, and I wish I could have that jackalope one, but I will never be able to have him because he's sold, and I will be sad about it forever. Because I really liked him. I really liked him a lot. <laughs> I liked him a lot. I don't know, maybe one day I'll be able to 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 speak to the person that made the Jack and Nope. That's what they called it. Maybe I'll be able to speak to them and get a custom one made. Cause I liked him a lot. He was so cute. I 
I know you guys don't understand my love. <laughs> I know you don't get it. But I loved him. <laughs> I know you don't get it, but I loved him. He was hideous, but he could have been mine. Support, yes, understand, no. That's fair. Not everyone's meant to love the Jackanope, but I loved him. I loved him. His vacant eyes, his big feet and talons, his antlers and ears. He was perfect. He was. A fursuit? No. <laughs> no. Did you someone that looks at you the way Nami looks at the jack and nope? He was perfect. He was perfect. I love him. Imagine having that creature. Again, imagine that as a real creature. Oh my god, imagine it as a real living creature. I want it. I want it so bad. <laughs> he would be so cool. He would be so cool. I think he would be so cool. I would love to have one, real alive. <laughs> Sometimes I hope you're joking. I'm really, deeply, truly not. <laughs> I truly am not joking. I think he would be so cool and I wish he was real and alive. <laughs> I think he would be so cool. Real, alive, domesticated by me. <laughs> my friend. The Jack and Hope. He could sit on my couch. I'm cool with that. Real, alive. My friend. Real and alive. And my friend. <laughs> No sitting on the furniture. He can sit on the furniture if he wants. He's, he's allowed on the furniture, just like the squirrel is. If she can be on the furniture, he can be on the furniture. You roll your own Pokemon at home. That's another... That's right. That's right. Me being like, these Furbies, I love them. I wish they were real. You guys wouldn't think I was a freak if I said that about... Pokemon. And there's some ugly ass Pokemon. <laughs> there's some ugly ass Pokemon out there. Have you looked at Capsa Kid? That thing's ugly as sin. So is Skull Villain. Ugly as sin. Trubbish? No, I think Trubbish is adorable. Capsa Kid and Skull Villain are ugly as sin. I would chop them up and put them in a pot. It says right here, Skull Villain is a monstrous bipedal Pokemon which resembles a pepper plant. 
monstrous. Yeah, that's Trubbish. He's the trash bag. String cheese Pokemon? <laughs> what? <laughs> I love Trubbish. He's adorable. He's just a stupid little guy. Goldingo? Oh yeah, him. He's ugly. <laughs> you know what he makes me think of? Apple Jacks. He makes me think of Apple Jacks cereal. Back when the cinnamon guy had <laughs> the cinnamon on Apple Jacks, he had locks. <laughs> Back in those times, you guys remember that? Yeah, the cinnamon, he had locks. That's what Goldingo reminds me of. The cinnamon guy from Apple Jack's cereal. But like his curvier cousin. <laughs> cinnamon guy's curvier cousin, Goldango. This new Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet do I actually like? Oh, I like a lot of the new ones. Like, uh, Tinkaton. I really like Tinkaton. That whole line. Tinkaton's so fucking cute. I would also kill to have a real, actual Tinkaton. My creature with a giant hammer. But it's cute. Big cute. Big hammer. And of course, Sprigatito. That line loves Sprigatito. And Pommy. And the mouses. And Fido. Small if I look at and I want to smash it into olive oil. So probably not uh good. Um <laughs> Probably not good. That that's my desire. Flittle, also adorable. Uh Finizens pretty cool, I guess. Oh, 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 I also really, 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 really love Screamtail. Stupid, terrible creature. I love him. <laughs> God damn it, she! <laughs> I shouldn't have fucked around. Hi, partners. Hi, partners. I always miss my chance. Hi, she. Welcome. Do this every time? Whatever, man. Like, whatever. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> you don't know my life. They don't have to be too late. Is this him? Do you like our friend? I wish she was real. I wish he was a real creature. I like him. I love him. I would do anything for this thing to live in my house. You don't understand.
What in the world is that? He's a Furby, Jack and Nope. He's perfect. He's beautiful and perfect, and I love him. He's a friend! And then, and then, there's other friends. There's other friends. His name is Gaston. <laughs> Gaston. No one. Him. Him too. He is my friend. I wish he was real too. I want him to skitter around my house with all his little feet and go. <laughs> Skitters up your wall onto your ceiling, hangs out there, goes ah. You know, he's your friend. <clears throat> he's your friend. I love him. He's perfect. Stop. <laughs> he's perfect. You can go tip 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 I would be impressed that he got into the fridge. Just a big caterpillar, but a big furry one. Big super furry one. He's a friend. He's a friend and a pal. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. I'm realizing that I last ate at like 10.30 this morning. I had brunch instead of lunch. Oh. Todd, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, hungry. So I've been here for, what, five hours? And then... It's been like seven hours since I ate food. <laughs> it's been like seven hours since I had food. Eat more than two microwave sweet potatoes? Maybe. Maybe. I don't have Oreos. I don't have any Oreos to eat. No, I ate. I just ate at like 10.30 this morning. No, I said I wanted a, a singular Oreo, but that I don't have any. I literally said when I said that I wanted an Oreo, that I don't have any Oreos. I don't have any Oreos. There is no Oreo to eat. Just, it's just me without any Oreos. You can't just buy a singular Oreo. That's not how that works. DoorDash a single Oreo? I would not spend the money on that. <laughs> I am not spending money to get a singular Oreo. Come on now, guys. 
You would pay like twelve dollars in in fees for an Oreo. Ask the neighbors. I don't think that they just have Oreos to borrow. I am not asking anyone to have an Oreo! <laughs> I am not asking people for Oreos. You guys are weird. Actually, have you guys ever had the original Oreo? The Hydrox cookie. They existed before Oreos. It's not as good, really? I want to try one. It's not bootleg Oreo. Oreo is bootleg Hydrox cookie, you dummy. I literally just said it was the original. Tastes like store brand? Damn. Tastes like a disgrace to humanity? What? They can't be that bad. You know, they... They might have... Oh, yeah, here's the thing, right? At some point, Hydrox was purchased... Uh, yeah, 15 years after Keebler sidelined Hydrox in favor of similar alternatives, a company called Leaf Brands registered a trademark for Hydrox, which was made possible once eventual Keebler parent company Kellogg's let the said trademark lapse. A year later, production on the new run of Hydrox began, appearing on shelves in Q4 of 2015. In 2017, Leaf Brands got rid of Hydrox's of artificial colors and flavors. So it's not even the real Hydrox! Or is it the other way? Like... Brand was later sold again to a privately held company and eventually merged with Keebler in 1996 who swapped out Hydrox cookies for Droxies. Yeah, so the Hydroxes that you can buy right now aren't even actual Hydroxes. They're just using the name. It's pretty fucked up. So, if you thought that you've had original Oreo, you haven't. A 
As it turns out, Hydrox's name may have eventually contributed to the erosion of its market share over time. That's crazy. <laughs> There is like a singular speck on my glasses that's driving me insane. What if I ate it in 1994? Then I guess. But did you? But did you? Oh my god, I'm hungry. Oh my god. Go eat. I'm gonna wither away. Cause it, here's the thing, right? As soon as I get up, I actually also have to go bring the squirrel out. She hasn't gone out yet for her dinner time. I was sleeping and being in that year, and my grandma, great grandma, liked them more than Oreos. Yeah, but like you could be remembering them wrong, and your and your taste changes when you grow. You could like a Hydrox now, but now you don't have original Hydroxes. She's being so quiet because she's not in the room. <laughs> she's out in the living room with the ringleader. That's why. Otherwise, she would have been crying up a storm by now. We all know it. Did you hear that? Did you hear my tummy? <laughs> you didn't? I, I was really loud. I said, oh. <laughs> that was the sound of my tummy. Oh. Oh my. I said, please feed me. Please. I'm so hungry. And then I'll put like three slices of bread in it and it'll be like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm too full. Whoa. Oh, then yes, I thought it was squirrel noises. Yeah, no, that was that was my tummy. Oh, my tummy will go. I know. It'll be like, you're starving, you're starving, you're dying, you're starving. And then I'll put like half a cup of rice in, and it's like, all right. <laughs> Had to check the tapes. Your tummy made an appearance. I'm telling you, man, it was so loud. <laughs> That's why I was like, did you hear that? <laughs> I was so surprised. It was so loud. Goodbye, wave time. Thank you for your wave, Pira. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I need to go eat food. I'm gonna go dump you guys at uh, Sharzu's door for when that daycare opens. Good luck. <laughs> go fight off uh, the jackanopes and the centipedes as I go. At you. Go. So, like, um, good luck. Uh, it's getting dark outside. And they can see better than you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a jack and nope sound. They can see in the dark. Good luck. 
<laughs> oh, John, thank you for the wave. Thank, thank you. Oh, my stomach is going to start growling again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Cease. Thanks for the harp tooting goodbye wave. Thank you for saying it. Thank you. I'm pressing on my tummy to make it be quiet. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by today. Please have a wonderful rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Dream of the Jack and the Hope and the Centipedes. They love you. And until next time, I love you all so much. I'll see you later. Uh, bye. Oh, 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 bye. Guys, can you believe Jack, John Wolf, Jack, hello, Jack, John Wolf, and the Beast? Crazy. <laughs> Bye.